but I'm going to tell you, there's not one project I've ever worked on there where there wasn't some type of conflict, whether it was very small to it being super big to the point where we had to scrap the project. Um, so being able to have the ability as a project manager to address and resolve conflicts among team members in a timely manner is going to be your, I mean, it, this is going to save your project because the longer you let that conflict go out and they start disrupting emails you and you, you and you know when you start seeing the emails disrupted because it's 13 responses you like man you, you guys could have got on a call and this been knocked out and then they get on a call and and you're in a and you're actually in a meeting and now the meeting has become disruptive Understanding, you know, one of the recommendations that I, if you're seeing a lot of conflicts in your project, you might want to think about putting a conflict management plan together. Basically, how are we going to identify the conf conflict? How are we going to assess it? How are we going to resolve the conflicts among uh, team members? So that's going to be huge, family. So putting a conflict management plan, I know a lot of people don't talk about that. I've used a conflict management plan a couple of times, uh, but more or less, I get, as soon as a conflict happened, that I feel like... Mm, this is, doesn't feel too well. Like 